All right. And that's your biggest worry? Yes, any kind of virus, but most probably something similar to influenza. Because of air travel. 68. The and uh, Dr. Newman, you're also an epidemiologist. I presume the prospect of a viral pandemic keeps you up at night as well. No. No? No. All right, well, that's our show. <laughs> well, no, that's how we were at some point. Not bacteria, not viruses, so fungus. Fungus. Yes, that's the usual response. Fungi seem harmless enough. Many species know otherwise, because there are some fungi who seek not to kill, but to control. Let me ask you, where do we get LSD from? Where do you get it from? <laughs> it comes from ergot, a fungus. Psilocybin, also a fungus. Viruses can make us ill, but fungi can alter our very minds. There's a fungus that infects insects, gets inside an ant, for example, travels through its circulatory system to the ant's brain and then floods it with hallucinogens, thus bending yeah, I heard its about mind that. to its will. The fungus needs food to live, so it begins to devour its host from within, replacing the ant's flesh with its own. But it doesn't let its victim die, no. It, it keeps its puppet alive by preventing decomposition. How? Man. Where do we get penicillin from? Fungus. <laughs> oh. Dr. Schoenheist, you're in distress. Fungal infection of this kind is real, but not in humans. True, fungi cannot survive if its host's internal temperature is over... 94 degrees and currently there are no reasons for fungi to evolve to be able to withstand higher temperatures but what if that were to change what if for instance the world were to get slightly warmer oh man now, there is reason to evolve one gene mutates and an ascomycetia candida ergot cordyceps aspergillus any one of them could become capable of burrowing into our brains and taking control not of millions of us but billions God, of us, I hope to do that prediction puppets with poisoned minds permanently fixed on one like in real life goal. so if that happens we're we doomed lose. man <clears throat> We'll be back. Uh, now, I don't know anything about the game. I've never even seen footage. I'm just going in blind. There we go. Fungus. The last of us. Two thousand three. He was real good in uh narco combat veteran Austin, Texas September 26th oh here we go you should go home she knows something Dog, no. Something's wrong. Animals are always the first to know. Man, jets. So in this one, it's gradual. Dad? In other zombie movies, it's like, bam. So it's happening real fast. Dad? Mrs. Adler? Oh. Blood. What? Oh man. She turned into look at that. <clears throat> 
So are these guys zombies in this series? Oh man. Get the hell out of there. What are we doing, Joe? Ooh. This is where trucks come in handy. Oh, they're going down. Oh. Hey, no one told you to move. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Kill him? Oh. We're not sick. Sir. We are not sick! You're okay. You're okay. Move your hand, baby. Oh, yeah. she got hit. No way she died. 20 years later. 2023. What? Boston. Yep, oh, there he is. They're gonna hang people. And I'd like to go home and drink till my face stops hurting. So are we good? Oh. <coughs> the hell was that? Oh. Oh yeah. You guys are good, all right. Whoa. What is that? Man. This one's done. Yeah. I know. I just I wasn't expecting it. Splatter. Wasn't down here last time? No. You think he came down after he was infected? Well, maybe down here is where he was infected. <laughs> we can fix this. Move. Oh, he's having a flashback. Oh, man. He's going to take out all his anger. All right. Let's see what's next. You ever kill one? Yeah. Is it hard? Knowing they were people once. In the weeks ahead. I'm taking you with me. We can just keep our histories to ourselves. You don't tell anyone about your condition. We try to keep you alive. You're not immune from being ripped apart. Frank, we will never have friends because there are no friends to be had. Just because life stopped for you doesn't mean it has to stop for me.
There's no halfway with this. We finish what we started. Looks okay. I gotta be honest. This show is pretty damn boring. I think uh, The Walking Dead did a better job. That's just my opinion. Everybody's allowed to have theirs. You know, I could be wrong to some people, but I could be right to others. Like, the story's all over the place. Too many characters already. And who's, like, the uh, the bad guy? Because the authorities, it looks like they're just trying to keep order. Maybe I missed something, I don't know, but it didn't look that bad, considering, you know. I was expecting something different, so I might not watch the rest of the episodes. Oh, man. Catch you on the next one.